Sounds like you're one of the first one. It's all locked up, safe and sound. <laughs> you got it. Hello everyone, we are about to start quiet time. What did we just do? We did, cause I can't go away in the can't come out box. Yeah, this year I don't have to send it all the way up to Alaska to get it to Santa. Somebody in our neighborhood is gonna gather them all up in a special mailbox and send them on to Santa. So that is perfect. That will save us some effort. I usually have to stick them in a special envelope and then have their letters inside and a, our return envelopes inside. So, yeah, so they finished that today. We also have been doing school. I did braid some more last night, so this front section is done. But I'm gonna put this up and we're gonna do quiet time. I am freezing because we just walked outside. You're interrupting again. Well, thank you. You probably know I regret. I should go. Hey, see that side? 
Okay. Yes, so that they asked that we put the address on because otherwise Sienna wouldn't know where to write back, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we did have to put our addresses on. Yeah, that's our day so far. I don't know what's going on with the mail. The mailman was here, but I didn't actually have any mail in our mailbox. It looked like he was doing packages, so maybe they're doing two passes and he's just doing packages. Somebody else will do the mail mail. Or maybe we just don't have mail, which is weird. I don't know. Anyway, Peggy got lucky with the groceries today because with Walmart, they kind of do their own thing with the substitutions. And sometimes you get lucky if they don't have the small size of something that you've ordered, you will get the large size for the same price you were gonna pay for the small. So I was trying to get a four ounce bag of his favorite Newman's own beef jerky and they substituted it for a 14 ounce bag for the same price. So that was a big deal because that was like almost $5 for the size that I was buying. So lucky puppy. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I'm just really cold. I'm gonna put my hair up. I need to meet somebody on Animal Crossing just because I need to be able to send her mail and you can't send mail until you connect. I just keep hearing trucks go. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got to say. I'm just babbling, so I'm gonna do pie time. Hey friends, it's bedtime. <sighs> Again, I'm not sure we talked. It's just another weekday. It was a Tuesday. I had a slow start. We might have talked at school. I don't know. Just still feeling tired. I think anemia actually did hit me harder than I thought. But it seems to be getting better. I'm just more tired and more cold than usual. I didn't have a bath or anything. I just literally put on sweats before we watch the movie because it's just so cold so I feel a lot warmer but yeah I couldn't get the earlier time slot for groceries so we went ahead just had cereal then did started our school groceries came around 11 30 ish put those away went back to doing school then we got all of our Santa letters done. Well, Sebastian got his done. And I asked Jess, Jax to write his. Sorry, I might have a hiccup burp thing. Whatever that is called. Hiccup, <laughs> hiccup. I asked him to do his. He had just written like one line and I was like, mm, we're gonna drop it off in the neighbor's letters to Santa mailbox and she suggested a nice letter with a lot of details, so I let him know what to write. Well, 
the list that she suggested of details. So he rewrote his and we ended up eating lunch while we were waiting for him. And then right before quiet time, we walked across the street and dropped that off. So yeah, I left the house. I left the house and went across the street, but I actually wore my slippers because they do have hard bottoms. And I was just crossing one street and staying on the sidewalks. So we did that. We did quiet time. I had to quickly hop on in my crossing to give somebody a statue and I need to get back on there at some point and mail a couple gifts. Sorry, Paul. Um, didn't do anything else. Sebastian wanted to use it and he's not very good at it yet. So what I did was go to my daily Captain Island. It was again, second day in a row, a completely normal fall island with literally nothing. <laughs> I think there was a money rock on that one, the one the day before I did all the rocks and there was no money rocks. But he was not very good at doing the rocks and only got two coins out of it, but whatever. I didn't care, I just let him go, go wild. He ended up teaching himself how to fish. And then finally I was like, okay, we need to go. I wanna turn my switch off. And he just quietly did iPad games and videos. I curled up under the covers and just watched him. I was just really cold, <laughs> really tired, but I, can, I actually felt a little bit less tired when I stood back up at the end of quiet time. But Danny had left for his booster shot. He was trying to avoid evening times, but there was so little time for adults to get their boosters during the day. It seems to be most of the kid appointments, and they're only doing it at the county site Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. We're not even considering Saturdays. But he ended up deciding to take a 450 appointment today because he really didn't want to wait till the end of December. And yeah, so he moved his appointment up. So he went and did that. He was there right around when we finished quiet time and I suggested pizza, so he put in the order while he was doing his 15 minute wait after his shot and then he picked up the pizza on the way home. So we had pizza. Mine is not really pizza, it's more like a weird flatbread because <laughs> sometimes I'm okay with sauce on a cheeseless pizza, but it's it's weird. It's just it's like a cracker with sauce from this place because they're it's a very crispy thin crust. So I usually just go do garlic and olive oil and then just have some toppings and it's just like a fat bread. I ended up eating a peanut bar like an hour after dinner just to get some protein. Uh, but it's good. It's just not the healthiest, I guess. <laughs> but we ate dinner and we watched our first Christmas movie of the season. We watched Eight Big Christmas a new movie on HBO about kids trying to get a NES back in the 80s. So it's fun to see one from when I was around that age. Um, I wasn't quite that old as a kid in the movie. Was I? When was it set? Did they say 1988? No, I was around his age, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was maybe a year older actually. I don't remember if they said he was 11, 10 or 11. Anyway, then I ran downstairs because I had about 15 minutes and I wanted to try to glue together that couch. I chickened out on the hot glue. I'm just not a hot glue person. Maybe if it doesn't stick, I will. The rest of the couch is all double stick tape. Nobody's gonna actually be sitting on it, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I used just my crafting glue I stuck it all together and then used a hair rubber band, hair elastic, to keep it pressed together. And I did try to glue the feet on. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think there's enough glue. It like soaked right in. And I used pins to hold the little feet in place because they're actually tube, tubular beads. I can add more glue and redo that. I just figured it was worth a try. It was gonna be upside down anyway, and I could give it a try. But that's about all I had time for. Then I had to get him to bed. So we just did his nighttime stuff. His allergies are looking really, really good now. So the change helped. His nose is nowhere near as stuffy. Like I rarely hear it anymore. We don't hear that noise all the time of him trying to breathe through a swollen nose. But I figure I should update you on current events if you're watching from the future. 
it is the last day of November 2021 and we have a new variant of COVID. It is Omicron, Om Omicron, I've already forgotten. It's the first time I said it out loud. Well, they've been doing the Greek alphabet. I believe they skipped a few letters because they were too close to other things. Like one is new and it sounds like, oh, it's brand new. And then another one is was XI. I don't know if you say she for that one, but that's very common Chinese name. So again, the World Health Organization decided to skip that one, but yeah, Omicron. And they have marked it as a variant of interest which is the name for the ones that we need to be concerned over. Uh, the last one was Delta, and yeah, that one was a big old wave across the entire world. Yes? How do you write mommy? Mommy? M-O-M-M-Y. Do we have any paper that you could write? I don't think so. Do you have a little board, like one of those little writing boards? Any doodle pads or anything up here? I could write it on that. Or brother could write it for you. He's got paper on his desk. It's a little shiny. Yeah, so variant of interest. What we know is South Africa was the first to disclose it to the world. However, other countries are now testing the samples, the positive tests that they've gotten in the past couple weeks and so far, Denmark is winning for the earliest detected cases. I think the biggest news story that broke at the beginning of it was a plane from South Africa to the Netherlands landed, or two planes, and of, I don't know, 200 people, I forget the numbers, might have been way more, I don't know if I'm remembering that right, of the two planes, 61 people were COVID positive and they had tested before they left and I believe a third of those or something were the new variant Omicron. Omi? Oh gosh, it's just gone from my brain now. The new variant, we shall call it that moving forward. So yeah, everybody's just saying we don't know what's going on. Go ahead and get your vaccines and your boosters, wear your masks. No masks mandates here in our county, except for the in-county in buildings. That's all the county can do, I think. They just, there's too many people in our county that don't want that. But yeah, they're just saying continue on. But there's concern that the vaccines will not prevent this one, that it has too many mutations in the spike proteins. One good thing is South African doctors are saying that it tends to be milder, so that's good. I mean, it, if it's gonna be more contagious and more mutated, at least it seems to be milder. But again, I still don't want it. But that's our update. I will let you know for future knowledge, if you're looking back at these, where we stand. But that's how it is on November 30th. Anyway. I did some more braids. I'm starting to be like, hmm, I don't know if I want to dye my hair pink, except that my hair is so white that I look bald in certain light. Like it just literally looks like these braids are growing out of my head and there's nothing around them. So I might do a pale pink, but especially since I'm considering taking a break from bleaching my roots, it's like, it's such a pretty color, especially in my bangs. Up here is very yellow. I just didn't bleach very well because I was so cold. But Jackie yeah, I don't know. I know why he fuck. Oh, well, that's weird. But we're going to say goodnight. So get your puppies. Let's get your puppies and we'll say goodnight. Who cares? Who cares about that? Okay, I got you. Anyway, goodnight, friends. I will see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Be kind. Be kind. And don't, don't forget. forget. Wolf your hands! Wolf your hands!